Hey, it's Neil the TV Guy here. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial and demonstration about how to use the Dynamic Virtual Viewer. This is a headset um, that works with any smartphone. You put it into the casing and then you can watch movies or play games, virtual reality apps, whatever you like. Um, here it is, just a big headset. Put it over your head. You can use any smartphone you want. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using my phone. It's just an iPhone 4. It has a kind of battery casing on it, so it's a little thicker than it normally would be. But any type of smartphone will work. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download um, the app or the game that you're going to want to play. Um, so I'm just on iOS here, App Store. And I'm going to use a roller coaster simulation for this demonstration. Oh, oopsies. Roller coaster VR, this one's called. Search that roller coaster VR. That's a little icon, a little blue track. So I'm just going to download it. Clicking on that button there, it would say get or something. And you should have to, um, you know, put in your password for your iTunes account and whatnot. So, just put that here. Wait for that to download. Okay, so it looks like it's downloading now. Little button here. If I go out back to the menu, should see it. Yeah, there it is. It's just waiting right there. So, this app you'll see a little progress bar and it'll download okay so it's downloading now you can see the little pie chart here progress bar shows you how far along it is and I'm just gonna skip ahead uh, a couple minutes I don't know how long this will take to download it said it was about 150 megabytes or so so depending on your speedier internet connection it shouldn't be that bad. I'm just in kind of a kind of a dead zone of this building for the Wi-Fi connection, so it's going a bit slow. I'll just skip ahead to uh, when it'll be done. Okay, so it's finished downloading. You can see it right there, a little icon. So uh, I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice it's sideways, so I'm going to turn it sideways. And this thing here, the front case, this little flap right there, it opens. It's telling me how to, it's just kind of showing me what to do right there. Basically, you want to insert it in such a way that, see, there'll be a green line here. See, it's giving me guidelines as to where to line it up in the center. You can see there's a plastic dividing wall right there. Basically, if you line it up exactly with the line, just like that. And then, oh, let's put it down a bit further. Just like that. Oh, and started. Well, same deal, there's still a line. It's more of a subtle one, but you can still see a line. A middle line lets you know where it is. For this one, since I don't own the specific headset that this game was made for, I'm gonna just go into the settings here. And instead of see, they want you to use your their Fibrum viewer or whatever, I'm just gonna go to the larger viewing. So there you go, now you can see it's two screens and when you turn it, it looks up and down. Basically, I'll show you how it works when it's in the thing. So you put it in here. Again, I can see the line, it's hard to see on the camera, there's the line. But if I line the line up right with that middle piece of plastic, right like that, then I can just close the door until it snaps. Now, should be able to see it in here. And this is this is kind of difficult to do. It's simulating me looking through these eyepieces. Ideally, you'd be looking yourself. I'm just gonna pick the camera up now so I can move it around. See, now I'm literally taking, what I'm doing is I have the camera in here and I'm literally moving it around like this so I can look to the right and I can look to the, this is as if this was on my head or I can look up like this and the camera inside the game will simulate that. You'll be looking up at the sky. I'll show you in a second, but I just wanted to demonstrate what I'm, what movements I'm doing. So there's an arrow and I need to turn over here. See, I can look where I'm going 
Oh, the arrow is directing me to this lever. Okay, I flipped the lever by looking at it, and now I'm off traveling down the tracks. And basically, if I were to tilt the camera up, this is me pointing it at the ceiling. So I'm looking up to the sky. Now I'm tilting it down to the floor, and you can look at the thing, the coaster track, whatever it is. Or I can look to the left and look over here. This is just me simulating having it on my head and literally looking around. So that's how it works pretty much. There's a variety of things you can download to try this out. I'll make a list in the description, in the video description, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. As long as you take care to line up the phone directly when it's in here. And again, any type of phone will work. See, it's, there we go, it has two screens. It looks meant to be viewed through the two eye holes, obviously, but any type of phone will work. As you can see, the area is a lot larger than my phone. So it can handle the newest, you know, Samsungs and iPhone 6 and things that are bigger than my phone. And I even have the case on it. That's why I left the case on to demonstrate that I don't need to take that off at all and just put that in. As long as you line it up, just take care to line it, the line, the guideline in the game with the actual, you know, plastic dividing line right there. As long as you take care to do that, then you're set really. And the effect is, is really in interesting and... Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's, it's unlike anything I've really ever seen. But that was just an explanation of how to do it, how to literally download the stuff and where to find it and how to make it work. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link of all the other things in the description, all the other examples uh, that I've come across so far of things you can view using this. And so that's pretty much it. I'm Neil the TV Guy, and we'll see you next time.